basic dice training theory. Step one, put all of your dice onto their highest value. This is good endurance training. Okay. Now, yep, so once you've done that, then you got to test them out, you know, make sure they're doing. So, because here's the thing. If you do it too often or too much, they get tired. And oh. so if they get tired, <laughs> they're not gonna roll as high. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course. So yeah. Now sometimes uh, reverse psychology works, but that 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 only works if you have like some troublesome mm. dice, you know, dice that like grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> or maybe they're like they're like a little bit hot headed, you know, they they think they're better than you, right? And if that's the case, then yeah, sometimes you can you can get them to do what you want by putting them on the opposite side. But the big one is giving them lots of encouragement until they fail. Now, once they <laughs> fail, that's when you put them in dice jail. Okay, but when but the thing about dice jail is some people are like, oh, I'll just put them back in the bag. No, 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 no. That's not dice jail. That's putting them away. They think they've done a good job. They can go to sleep now. No, <laughs> you need to set them so that they can see what a good dice is supposed to do. Okay, so you have to, like, Post in my current costume. setup, I have my player's handbook kind of sitting here. So maybe I put them, like, on top of the player's handbook. Like, look, this is what <laughs> you're supposed to be seeing right now, you know? And I asked for dice training, not dice parenting. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, yeah. But it's, I'll it's take one it though. One, one, in, the, one in the same. Yeah. yeah, you're their coach. You're also their parent. You know. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, so that's how you you train dice. And if they keep doing bad, you can cycle them out. You got to give them more. You know, after they've been in dice jail for a while, right? You know, maybe they've kind of learned the error of their ways. You can try and like. Maybe cycle them back into your dice rolling society, <laughs> but you know rehabilitation isn't uh, you know a, a hard science. It doesn't always work. So at that point, you know sometimes sometimes you do got to put them you know in dice jail for a while, and you know, maybe you go buy a new set of dice to kind of really hammer at home what dice you're supposed <laughs> to do. But. That's what these things are for on the scrolls. This is solitary confinement. Well, no, but the, the thing is, if you get, if you leave them in a dark place, they think they're going to sleep. You have to leave them in a light place so that they can't fall asleep as easy. This is the <laughs> ultimate jail. Right? Yes, that right there. That's a good jail. Hmm. Airlocked as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yep. They better behave or they're going to run out of oxygen. Like uh, well, dice can't breathe. So. <laughs> oh, yes, they sleep, but they can't breathe. Yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> My bad. I forgot the basic science. Advice. Yeah, come on, man. It is, at the end of the day, a hunk of plastic. It's, it's, yeah. I can't breathe. Yeah. But so. Who's your child. Yeah. Good job sport. Yep. <laughs> so you got to give them lots of encouragement, lots of positive reinforcement, mm -hmm. and then if they screw up, you know, lay that down. Yeah, drop you the know. hammer. We have a 